I have a problem. Welcome back guys. Today, after a long, long setup process, thanks Lee, by the way, for helping me out. We've set up every single sealed deck that I have in my collection. Last time I did this deck collection video was a couple years ago. You guys have been wanting to see another one. So here it is. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with all these cards. I have no idea where I'm gonna place them, but I know a lot of them are gonna go into that shelf that I have set up over there. If you guys are interested, those are cassette, wooden cassette holders. I found them on eBay. They all hold a 100, decks of cards or cassettes, whichever you prefer. I put them up on the wall, it looks nice, and it's a cool place to you know, store some of your collection. If you're not as ridiculously inclined to buying cards like I am, you might fit all your cards in there. I, on the other hand, have a serious problem. And today we're going to investigate and dive into my problem. This is like, this is like an episode of like TLC's, what is that, weird? Uh, hoarding? No, not the hoarding. Weird addiction? Weird addiction, Str my strange addiction. I like. I like to lick playing cards. I like the taste of them. So guys, you know what? Just leave a like before we get into everything. Before we, you know, get too busy to hit the like button, just like it now, you know, it'll be done with, okay? My deck collection, 2019. <laughs> All right, so first cards we're gonna put away, these ones, these ones, these ones, and these ones. These four decks were sent to me by Anyone Worldwide. I featured uh, Noel Heath, who's uh, part of Anyone Worldwide, on that uh, crazy sleight of hand video recently. They sent me a whole bunch of these, a uh, couple bricks, or a brick of each, which is really cool. These are actually really sick. These are a remake of the Dan and Dave Smoke and Mirrors, uh, which was said to never be reprinted, and they collabed on this, which is really cool. That is going there. We got the blue checkers. This one, the 6006 back. It's like kind of like eggs. And then this one, Headlong into Eternity, which is really cool. I like the, look at the design on that. That's gonna go there. My buddy Oliver Sogard, one of the best cardists around, has uh, this one, which is the error playing cards. By the way, uh, for all these decks, I'm not gonna leave the link individually for everybody. I'll leave one link below where you can shop playing cards, because otherwise the description would be never ending. This is sent to me by Patrick Kuhn. These here, the Stay playing cards, pretty cool. I featured them before. Uh, these ones here were sent to me by someone. Uh, collaboration with New Era, kind of cool. Golden Sunrise, uh, produced by Art of Play. My buddy Andre, Jake, and Patrick Kuhn, they are Bitcoin cards. These ones were uh, part of the project that were backed with the uh, Bitcoin puzzle. Those go right here. And a poop deck by my buddy Alejandro Bortella. Next, my collection of Cherry Casino decks. We got like the dark greens, we got the blues, the reds. My OCD, my OCD right now. The blacks. And these ones, the rarest of them all, these are the V1s. These ones were, oh my God, they feel so great. I bought four bricks of them initially when I used to work at Murphy's and they had them laying in the warehouse. I paid like wholesale price on them. So I bought like four bricks. I have like six decks left and these are really hard to come by. This is also by Oliver Sogard, featured these as well. The back design looks like that. Peter McKinnon. This is not actually a collaboration with Peter McKinnon. Peter McKinnon helped out on these when he worked with The Illusionist. This is a James Coffey deck. I don't have the white one anymore. And this is a, what? A Third Man Records playing cards by Dan and Dave. The back design's pretty simple. Now have a look at that. And face cards are dark. Next up, Orbit. First edition, super rare. And third edition. I do not have a second edition Orbit. Orbit, if you're watching, just one deck. That's all I need. I should leave a space there, but my OCD will get to me. The fourth edition, which are the black ones. The fifth edition, which are these ones, like teal. Sixth edition, which are like the alien ones. And the seventh edition coming out soon, which is pretty sick. Can't wait for that. Hanya playing cards by my buddy Damien O'Brien. It's gonna be a long video, I feel. Uh, Stranger deck. These were actually given to me by David Blaine himself, which is pretty cool. This one's super rare, this one not so much. Uh, these are like the uh, cards that he gave away um, during his show. So these are the VIP edition. They have a little VIP here. And these are fetching like 600 bucks on eBay, which is really cool. And I got one of these decks signed. So they're kind of personal. I got a personal attachment to these. Sons of Liberty. These are all more like intricate decks. So by Theory 11 and Dan and Dave, they kind of all follow a similar theme. SNL, you got the Neil Patrick Harris deck. By the way, this deck here has a puzzle with like a website and like you got to solve puzzles and stuff. 
I thought that'd be cool to check out one day and maybe make a video about. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Nomad decks, Dan White, and yeah, the Sons of Liberty. I like the tuck case on that, it looks really cool. Virtuoso first edition right here. Got like a half brick of these left. Uh, entry, one, two, three, and four. Franco Pascali and Benji Taylor. The back designs are all on here, so. You had the O1s, the O2s, the O3s, which are the peppers, some of my favorites, and the O4s. The drops, the cardistry cons, peppers, the suns. Ah, for the next portion, I'm gonna grab a chair because my knees hurt. Polaris Equinox, not sure about these cards. Never seen them, but the tuck case is pretty cool. Polaris Equinox, not sure about these cards, but the tuck looks pretty cool. Uh, Polaris Eclipse, not sure about these cards. But I'll put them right here. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland playing cards. Those are pretty cool. Who are these made by? Illustrated by Sasha Duwanevsky. Cool. Oh, these ones I featured before. The Dystopia deck. The other Virtuoso deck that I had. Vitreous playing cards. I believe there's a white edition as well that I have somewhere. These were the Saturns when I was working with Illusionist. Uh, this was by uh, Frankie Morales. All the back design is really sick. Fulton Casino cards. This is a whole collection of like, earth, wind, and sea, and whatever. I made made by Art of Play. Black Artifice, a classic. All right, we have uh, another Fulton deck. These are the rest of that collection, like, what are they? You have air, land, and space. Kind of trippy design. Not really my style, but it'll fit perfectly in the shelf. There's the other Vitreous, I knew there was a white one. These are like limited. Look at the tuck case on that. How ornate does that look? Verana, 834 of 1,000. 834 of 1,000, Inverno. Inverno and Verana. Dan and Dave smoke and mirrors. <sighs> Every Daniel Madison deck has got a lot of cards, man. I don't even know if this is all of them. This is definitely not all of his cards, but man, this guy's produced a ton of cards. Definitely king in the playing card industry. You got these two, which are pretty funky. Boop, boop. We'll get a whole row. Of, we'll probably fill up one of these whole racks with Daniel's cards. Got some Erdenay's decks that he worked on. Expert at the card table. These ones. The knights that me and him worked on. There's also the blue and green. I didn't work on those and I don't think our names are on them. Uh, but these ones definitely are. These were the knights, the white and the red edition. Daniel's first deck that he put out with Theory 11. That's before he jumped ship to Illusionist. Very rare, very hard to find. I got two of those left. We got these, these. Another Erdnay's project with the scribbles. Lee can't tell the, Lee can't tell the difference because he's colorblind. Uh, these hey. are green and these are black. These might be purple for all he knows, and these might be orange. I don't know how color blindness works. Blood Kings, this is done with Peter McKinnon. Actually, we're missing the other Blood King, the other Kings. Be right back. Forgot. Oh, there's so many of them. So these are the ones he, uh, Daniel Madison and Peter McKinnon collaborated on. The Blood Kings and the Kings. The Blue Rounders, these were rare back in the day. Uh, the Black Rounders, OG. The Brounders. They also had green and pink and uh, the red rounders. So check these out. These were like the rarest right here. And not only that, this is when I first met Daniel, actually when we first met online, like Daniel is someone who's very, uh, he's very generous. If you know him in real life, you know Madison. If you don't know him, check him out. He's got a YouTube channel, teaches tricks and everything else. Good friend of mine. And he sent me a ton of cards when we first started talking online. This was years ago, back before I had a big following on YouTube before I was really anything. And uh, he sent me this huge care package and it was like, it was such a big deal for me because he was like kind of like a big deal uh, when it came to like, you know, in the magic industry. And he sent me this deck, which was a rare one. And it said, for my friend, Chris. And I thought that was really special because we just met and he's like, you're my friend, I'm gonna send you these. So thank you, Daniel. That's a really cool memory. That's not going in here. I'm gonna keep that elsewhere. Don't even have enough room in this whole row for Daniel's decks. Next pile. We have some vintage, oh, hold on, let me get comfy. Some vintage uh, artifice decks, purple artifice, red arcane, the infinity deck, it's all vintage. Back in the day, the black tiger deck, one of the first custom decks. This, this deck like started the craze in terms of like custom playing cards. It was Theory 11 and Illusionist who sort of put out the first custom deck and since then it kind of went crazy. They still handle really well. Uh, next up, Alex Pandrea. This is uh, the Blue Crown, his company, some of the earlier decks he put out. We got the Green Knox, the OGs. These are all USPCC by the way. These are not the expert cards, these are the old ones. Uh, V1 yellow, the V1 red, ultra rare, hard to find. The blue the purple and both whites so the expert playing cards and the uspcc ones seekers by dan and dave the jane austen deck by dan and dave 
Spark playing cards. These are open. Let's have a look at these. Kind of a classic design here. Ace cards are like light blue and red. Visa, 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 Victorian. Coterie playing cards. Podu. I have a, I have a, these are the gold edition. These are actually kind of cool. These were, uh, was it Cardini's playing cards? Yeah, Cardini. Check the backs out, look at this. And then the other side. Those were actually like his cards back in the day and they remade them, which is really cool. Into the weird. Uh, I don't know about these cards. Some of these were sent to me by you guys. I haven't gotten to review them. I get I get a lot of little packages, I'm very fortunate. So I have a hard time opening them all, to be honest. It's not enough time. V1 and V2 mixtape, volume one and two by my turn, Michael Stern. Antlers by Dan and Dave. What up? Executive cards. Probably one of the worst designs in history. <laughs> For that fact, I'm keeping them. OG watermelons. These were like when cardistry was just getting started. These were like the cardist's choice. Medallions, Sleepy Hollow, one million. Almost there, guys. Phoenix back. Superfly. These are actually kind of dope. Gemini playing cards. Uh, he sent me a few different decks, this guy. Big boy playing cards. Also look kind of dope. He also sent me these, the Gemini ones. Don't know what these are. The Guard. Someone sent me these. I don't know. Sideshow Freaks. Pretty sure that that is not ethically, morally okay, but cool deck. Block playing cards. American Pine. Ooh, Hudson Bay playing cards. I actually like these cards. They match my chair. Not this chair. The one over there. Pressers. Alchemy. Ew. Black Lions. I don't have very many David Blaine decks left over because I use them all so much. Like all my white series B are all gone. Casual Playing Cards by Paul Robaya. Robia? Robaya? Don't know what these are, but they look cool. Oh, by Art of Play. So I <laughs> wanted to read the name of the deck. Hand Cut by Susie Taylor in England. Metal deck. <laughs> Victoria Cards by my buddy Ryan Edward. These uh, old decks, look at the back design. Nothing to do with this, but I like that. <sighs> Next we have, oh, these, this is cool. This guy sent me this little box set. I have the whole box set as you see right now on your screen of uh, different playing cards from different planets like Venus, Mercury, Earth. I don't know what these are. Ooh, look at that. Americana. America! Eagles and freedom and liberty. Animal Kingdom. Steampunk. Breast cancer. Where are they? Yep. Breast cancer. Check. Oh, these are kind of cool. Sub Rosa playing cards. Made by playingcarddecks.com. Sounds legit. These were sent to me by Adam Borderline. Very cool cards, very cool design. Thank you, Adam. I will add them to my collection. You guys better leave a like for that pun. Some more knocks. Knock one of these out. Keep them coming. Skull and Bones left you a little place next to your sister. Yes, I did just assume those playing cards gender. This is a uh, Killer Bees deck. Quite cool, every deck uh, money is donated to help save the bees and they raise like thousands and tens of thousands of dollars just by selling these decks. Really, really cool. Whispering Imps. Ah! Some more OG decks. The original Squeezers, the Bulldogs. Aladdins, look at these. No idea what these are. They look so ugly. Sometimes, you know what? Even the ugly decks get a little place and you know, you gotta like them for that reason. Icons. Charity Water, we got blue and black. Money goes to charity, the water charity. Roadhouse, Roadhouse. Sleepers, Sleepers, the Peepers, the Keepers, the Creepers. Oh, this is North Korea. Anybody else falling asleep? Let's spice this up. Ooh, just kidding, just more cards. Uh, these are DKNG, some of my favorite decks. Hi, my name is Mark. Mark uh, from Blink182 produced produce these cards. I really love them. Aviators, designed by my friend uh, Abraham Garcia Sanchez, who actually designed first playing cards with me. These are really cool. The Drifters, Born to Roam. Sentinel, these used to be one of my favorite decks because they had the uh, Illuminati eye. The like, right? And I was like, ooh, I'm Illuminati. Gin Genie playing cards by my buddy Zach Mirza. The Monarchs. We got the Silver Monarchs. 
Contraband playing cards. Aurelian, these are uh, the illusionists take on the contraband playing card. Uh, Meliez. Private Reserve, these are actually cool. Royal Reserve by uh, Jeremy Griffith and Illusionist. The black, I like the white tuck case myself. Has that beautiful like cigar ribbon. Kind of like you'd find on like a cigar, like a expensive whiskey bottle. Red Monarch. Green Monarch. Blue Monarch. Purple Monarch. No, I'm just kidding. Another Illuminati deck. The Sinner deck. <laughs> by Alan Rorison. Cobra deck, reviewed these before. Uh, some Archangels, some oldies. This, uh, don't know, it's like a comic book. Okay. Odd Bods, very cool deck, very cool cards. Vintage Bicycle, Sultan. Artifice, did we do these artifices? Artif artifices? Artifices? We're getting there. Vintage Squeezers, look at these. These were said to be the actual cards of uh, SWE or Erdnaze's actual playing cards were said to look like this, but nobody knows. So it's bullshit. <laughs> this is another deck that Daniel Madison made. Moonshine, don't know what these are. Phoenix Academy Elite. Worldwide Academy Phoenix. OG studs, very thin, very hard to find. Blue seal, old blue sealed Arcos. More splades. Some beer ones, somebody sent me that, thank you. Purple LTDs, uh, these ones. Oh, these are cool. If you're on acid, silver steampunks. Might as well put them next to the other steampunks. Superior brand, huh? Not that the not that uh, the other ones are inferior. <laughs> mana playing cards. Need more mana. That's a video game reference. Technique by Chris Severson. I don't know how much you're enjoying any of this. It's just a chore for me. You guys are watching me do something I have to do. Owl eyes. Woo. I love I love when playing cards like. Exquisite Academy of Exquisite Arts. I was like so over the top with their names. Don't know what these are. Millennium Luxury Edition. Let's put big words on it. These are cool B cards. Some Gatorbacks. Sultan. I don't know where I got this. Where is this made in? USPCC. But there's a face on there. You see that? Okay. Uh, superior, more superior cards. More superior than the last ones. Mechanic deck. This is the mechanic deck. I just wanted to show you this. I had an extra deck. How cool is that? Just some, we got some tally ho. Regular tally ho. World Poker Tour. Look at that, buck fifty. Found those at a dollar store. Like I like the colors of these. This is like the Venetian Hotel in Las Vegas. They're like worth a dollar, these decks, but the, the colors are really bright and vivid. It's a really cool design. The, uh, was this Black Roses or the Roses playing cards? By Daniel Schneider. Bikes, Flesh and Bones. This was, uh, the designer of this was actually the guy who drew out this tattoo. Just a fun fact. Actuators. Mystery deck. I don't know what these are, Serious B. Oh, the Tacular by Piff. Piff sent me those, I like these. Oh, that's not gonna fit. Implicit. No, don't know what those are either. A lot of random cards. Ooh, Dragonbacks. By the way, Game of Thrones, I'm not gonna spoil it. You guys are waiting for a spoil, not spoiling it, but what a great episode. Fleur de Lis, found those at a Walmart. Magicon 2014, the first Magicon. Got the Guy Hollingworth cards. Ooh, what do we have here? First playing card, second, I mean, First playing cards, V2. Carpe Noctum decks. Memento Mori. Uh, Sons of Liberty this is a different, this is like a lighter edition. The more antlers, these are cool. Some more plaid, private reserves. Art of Magic, this is a very cool tuck case. Uh, the Maker's deck, this came in a box set. Venture Onward, be brave or die. I guess I'll die. I think I'll just, uh, I think I'll just have these as placeholders until I fill it up. But if you guys have any decks that uh, you want to suggest that I haven't checked out yet and that you haven't seen in this video that you think I'll like. I also have a couple decks coming from Kickstarter campaigns that I've backed. I also let me know if you want me to do another one of those Kickstarter campaign videos where I check out all the campaigns going up on Kickstarter. I think those videos don't get the most views in the world, but I think it's a really cool video for those of you who are like me and obsessed with playing cards. Screw the views, guys. We're in it. I'm not in it for the fame. We in it for the game. I'm going insane. Okay, that about wraps up this video. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I don't know how enjoyable this was for you. It was definitely not as enjoyable for me. Actually, correct me if I'm wrong. It might be less enjoyable for you. But anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. Just wanna get these cards placed here.
Booyah. There you have it. I also have uh, like box sets of playing cards that I didn't want to take out of the boxes because they're super nice um, that I won't be putting in here. But I think I think it looks good. This is a this is a cool little storage thing that you guys can do as well. Uh, these things are about 50 bucks on eBay. You can get the smaller ones for probably around 35, 40 bucks. Um, and they hold a bunch of playing cards. I have another little one that I'm gonna set up just for my used decks by my desk. I don't know, cool idea. You know, just thought I'd post. Might delete later, whatever. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. Rah.